Hey sis, welcome back to Sister Sister. Today is Testing Makeup Tuesday. The product I'm going to be testing is this Bad Habit Palette. It's the Arabis. Arabis. I think it's Arabis. <laughs> we have this palette today. I ordered it off of a shop hush for $16. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's bad habits, normal palette packaging. The ingredient, uh, contact information. It has the Peter Bunny and it's cruelty free. The shelf life of 12 months. Sorry if I sound nasally, my allergies are really acting up really bad. Here is what the eyeshadows look like. I mean, is this supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette? If you know anything about Bad Habit, they are known for duping Anastasia's palette. I do not have the Soft Glam palette. I don't have any Anastasia palettes. I should probably pick one up. Actually, well, I have her singles, but I don't have her palettes, and I should probably pick one up. I think the next one she comes out with, um, if it's a good one, if I like it, I think I'm gonna pick it up so I can test her formula against Bad Habits formula. Definitely get in the Sahara from Face Candy vibes when it comes to this packaging. The eyeshadows themselves are not even close to being the same, but the packaging is similar. I thought that I would just note that. That soft, velvety texture to them. Nice. I really like their packaging for their palette. It gives off that high-end feel to the it does come with a mirror, I didn't know that. I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches and then I'm gonna do something really cute on the eyes. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna do them by rolls. So I'm gonna start from this side, Avant to um, Melodrama. This is Avant, in Point, Tutu. The last one here is Ballet Slipper pretty very pigmented a tad bit chunky though and here's the last three on the top row interlude rev melodrama on the last row you have satin a purette have waltz the fourth is nutcracker grand ply Esmeralda is leotard. Very, very, very pretty. Pretty palette. I already finished one eye off the camera. Look at the palette. Look what I did to the palette. Can you see that? I was all broke up. I dropped it. I dropped it on the floor. The eyeshadow pans are magnetic. So therefore, I dropped it on the floor and all of the eyeshadows came out <laughs> and half of them are broke now so they are pressed very softly so if you drop them it will be a disaster i have eyeshadow powder all over my floor luckily i have wood floors not luckily because probably wouldn't have broken if i didn't have wood floors so i just destroyed this palette i'm still gonna work with it i was a little bit discouraged when I did it, but I'm gonna continue working with it. So just note, if you drop these shadows, they will break right above my actual crease. One thing to note, it goes on, no, actually it goes on true to color, but I feel like as you blend it out and as it sits on the eye, it starts to get a bit darker. So it's like it oxidizes on the eyelids. It's weird. Ouching. So these eyeshadows are very pigmented, very creamy very soft press as I told you but they're really pretty so 
going to use a, use a really light color concealer because I want to give as much payoff as I can with these colors. Show you what colors I mix together to get the shade for my wig. Shades, you don't even need to wet your brush, they're super pigmented. You have that sticky base, that concealer sticky base. It's gonna look beautiful. I took some of this Stila, this is a Mac and Metals, I think, in the shade Smoky Storm um, and a brush, and then I just cut the crease with that to add some glitter. I took that deep, dark, burgundy shade, I don't know the name, and then I just put that on an outer V. I didn't want to go too dark, like with the black. I wanted to try to put it, but then I was like, I'm going to keep it like smoky, but not too smoky. That's what I did. And then I just blended those together. I just took this white coal liner and then I lined my bottom waterline. Sorry you guys, I look crazy. But I don't mind lashes dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mask. I'm just now getting back into my 16 days of foundation to clutter. So I'm just gonna go ahead off the camera, um, do my foundation, and then I'll come back and I'll let you know what I think about the palette. So it's been about four hours since I applied the eyeshadows and they still look really good. They're still holding up really, really well on the eyes. I really, really like these shadows. I'm just, I'm upset, destroy this palette. I like it. The shadows are very pigmented. They're really dusty, but I find that a lot in the Bad Habit palette, their eyeshadows are normally really dusty. So, you know, that's the norm. I find the consistency in the pigmentation to be the same across the board with every shadow. All of them are extremely pigmented very pretty on the eyes. Keep in mind, do a light touch of the eyeshadows and you put a dent in it, you drop it, it's gonna break. If you aren't as clumsy as I am, you would probably um, not do as much damage as I did. But overall, I would say this is a really, really good palette. It's $16. So you're gonna get the same look as you would with the Anastasia palette. I'm assuming because I don't have that palette, the cheaper palette. So I'd say if you were thinking about get, getting it and you didn't want to spend the money on the soft glam, I think this is a really, really good, what? I think this is a really, really good dupe for it. Um, I've seen quite a bit of looks with the soft glam palette and I feel like the shadows look very similar. Go ahead and pick up this palette palette if you're interested in it. So I'm not gonna put it in my declutter videos because I already know that I like it. If you have any questions about the palette, leave it in the comment section. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to our channel and join our little sisterhood we got going on here. We have fun. So I'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks. Bye guys.